All right, here we go, guys. We'll do this little intro, and then we'll come to you. Case we're on 17 here? Yeah. No. <laughs> Foo Fighters 93.3 WMMR. Of course, it's everything we rock. Love Dies Young. Great song. Kevin is after 9 o'clock in the Preston and Steve show. Gorgeous. Just a gorgeous Monday morning. Love it. We have beautiful weather going up to close to 70 degrees and sunshine. And that's the week, man. We made yeah. some clouds on Friday, but for the most part, the week is looking excellent. We had a load of suck last week. So. It's been a while since we've been able to say that. Yeah. And we're going to have an awesome time. So we have some live music about to happen in our studio as we speak. Let's have a look at traffic first. Let's see what's going on. Kath, what you got for us? A load of suck. <laughs> a load was. of suck. It was. 95 southbound uh, is jammed in Bristol. Uh, from the Pennsylvania Turnpike to Delaware Valley, there's an accident in the left lane causing that one. Uh, on the school police bound, you're slow 202 into Belmont, the boulevard to 30th Street westbound from the boulevard out to Conjahawk, and on the boulevard southbound, that slow broad to Fox. The Vine westbound jams the length 95 to the Schuylkill Expressway. An accident on 295 southbound at 168. It's off to the left shoulder. It is uh, attracting some attention. A 55 has cleared out. You're okay on 42. Coming across the Commodore Barry Bridge uh, westbound direction, we've got two lanes closed with construction. This traffic report brought to you by the Brightview Senior Living Center. They're hiring healthcare, hospitality, and dining associates, ranked one of Fortune's top 100 companies to work for in 2021. Apply today at brightviewseniorliving.com slash careers. And that's your traffic on 93.3 WMMR. Thank you very much, Kathy. You know, this is like semi-historic today. It is. It's, yeah, absolutely. And I believe this is the first live music we've had in the studio post-pandemic. In years. Mm -hmm. So it's it's literally, literally been years. years. And it yeah. was a pretty regular thing for us. So we're excited that uh, these ladies are representing that live music. We were playing some uh, uh, music from them last week on the show. And we're excited that they're just stopping through town. Just to say yeah. hello mm -hmm. and play. Please welcome uh, Alejandra, Danielle, and Paulina from The Warning! Yay! We're so glad you made it here, and and just stopping through, right? You guys aren't playing in town, are you? Oh, we played yesterday. yesterday. You played last yeah, night. Yeah, okay, we where where's the gig last night? In the uh, Brook and Bowl. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. yeah. How was that? Was that cool? It was, it was awesome. Really cool. We had a bowling alley literally in the same venue. That was crazy. Was yes, awesome. that's always cool. Did right? you go? Yeah. Did you go throw any? Uh, did, you, did you bowl at all? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I lost in first yeah. place. You lost. Yes. I lost, lost and first place. Yes. Lost and first place. Yes. Okay. If you can pull that both those off, that's a cool thing exactly. to do. Uh, so uh, the three ladies here are sisters, and uh, is your last name pronounced uh, Villarreal? Is that how you say it? Yes. I got it. You pronounced it correctly. Wow. How about that? Two years of Spanish, junior high school. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. Mm, There's no time. <laughs> it paid off this once. Um, no, but you, you guys are uh, born in Mexico? Yes. yes. Okay. We live there as well. We're it, in Mexico. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I, so here's uh, the question, because we're just learning about you guys. Um, you had a viral video uh, that hit, and it was you guys playing, uh, covering Metallica. Yes. How old were you at the time when you did the oh video? Oh, my God. I don't remember exactly how old we it were. It was 2015. 2015. 14. 14. So I was 14. So I was 12, and, and I, was, I was 9. Oh, oh my, my God! God. <laughs> we were tiny. We were yeah. really young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it took off. I mean, it took yeah. off like crazy. Like millions and millions. I think it was the last tally of some upwards of 28 million views or something like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Well, no, but yeah. yeah, that was basically what started our whole career. As musicians, yeah. Not so, only that, you, you end up on Metallica's own radar. They're, they're, they, yeah. they're thrilled with it. Yeah. Uh, and, and everyone getting kudos, but it progresses, right, Preston? And it yeah. was a cool for so full circle moment, because yeah. now, last year, we were able to participate with our own version of Enter Salmon in the Metallica Blacklist album, which is the 30th anniversary of the Black Album. Oh so it's just... Oh, we started with amazing. that song, and now we have our own version for a Metallica album. That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Who who posted the video? Was it one of your parents? Or? Yeah, my dad. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. No, yeah. no kidding. Wow. Yeah, we posted yeah. videos on YouTube for like our grandparents to see them, and then suddenly 
millions of views. Well, Dad, Dad and... certainly deserves a rare spot in the, uh, in the liner notes, right? <laughs> of course. Uh, that's very cool. All right, so uh, to, to run down who does what in the band, for those who may not uh, know, uh, Alejandro plays bass. Mm-hmm. Uh, Danielle is the uh, guitarist. Yes. And uh, Paulina, the drummer. I'm the drummer. Fellow drummer, thank you very much. Drummers, Totally, yes. man, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Who started first? Who got involved in music first? It was uh, kind well, of at was, the same time. Yeah, but ish. Pao and I at the same time because Ale was just I a was too young. baby <laughs> yeah. when we three. learned to play piano. Yeah. So we started it off, and then Ale was just like, "I want to." Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, I want in. All right, and then but at that point, you know. Uh, Sometimes you know, siblings can get involved in the same activity. It doesn't mean they want to do it together. Um, yes. Were you playing with other people or just always you three? No, it was basically we all played individually. It was never a group thing. It was only after Alice started playing the bass when she was like, I don't know how old you were. Was I like seven, eight? Well, oh my God, okay, yes. <laughs> that we started like, oh, we can play these instruments together. Yeah. And that's just kind of how it started out. Did you all like rock? Or, or what, what, what? I assume there are multiple. Everyone always has multiple influences, no. but were you all rockers right from the get go? Yes, because our parents are rockers. But basically, we listen to a lot of different types of music. But it was the video game, the rock band, that really got us into rock. And that was the reason why we started playing the instruments we used. Like today. Did songs of yours end up on the Yes! Yeah. How, cool How cool is that? How cool is that? It was, we have two songs on Rock Band 4. It's insane. <laughs> Do you play your own song? We tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. 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 We uh, we get along really well. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Because you're yeah. females, your sisters, you live together. You're like that's that's a yeah, lot yeah. of mm-hmm. a lot of time spent yeah. together. Yeah. No, but but honestly, we're best friends, and uh, we make like this is a really hard um, career to have sometimes. Yeah. But I feel like we manage it so well because we communicate with each other really Good. well because we're sisters, and it's just a really nice environment to be in. We well, feel very comfortable. If you start to think about it, I mean, it, 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 the, the industry can be pretty predatorial and it can eat people up and, and to have people that, you know, I mean, you're not going to get anybody closer than family to watch exactly. you back. Yeah. Well, so the reason I ask is because the world of rock is littered with, with uh, brothers and sisters that have hated each other mm-hmm. oh, yeah. over the years. The, 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 the Gallagher brothers from the Oasis and the, the Davies Rose. from the Kinks and the Black Crows yeah. and so that, but, you know, none of We're that good. for you. We're We're good. Good. Yeah. You guys love each other. <laughs> We can definitely tell that. That's cool. So, uh, as far as, and we're going to get you guys to play uh, the song Money here in a moment uh, because it's awesome. Uh, First of all, uh, who does the majority of the writing? Do you guys work together? Does one of you write the songs? How does that work out? So, we write the songs, the three of us together. Mm -hmm. I, the drummer, usually start the songs in the piano. If I have a melody, lyrics, a, a little bass of something, I show it to them and then we start working on it, the three of us together. And that's usually where the song takes off. But it's a really cool process. But talking about the sister thing, that's usually where we fight the most. Yeah. Oh, we're writing. with the we're songwriting? Writing. Yeah. Like, yeah. All, they all agree. Do you yeah. have a good, so the, if you set the parameters and say, okay, we're going to fight, but we're fighting for the same cause, so does that a Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Okay. And at the end of the day, music is just opinions and right. it's tastes. So it's just kind of like balancing our opinions until we reach a middle ground. Okay. And that's what we've been doing so far. It's going to be hard awesome. because you, you, you write something that, that you like, that it, yes. but the other people aren't, the other two might not be hearing it, and they have to choose, am I going to be honest and I don't really like this, or am I <laughs> yeah. just going to say, and yeah, that's we, good. We usually choose yeah. the honesty I mean, path. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy to kind of try and describe and pitch your idea, because you hear it in your head, but no one else is hearing that. So, yeah. like, so you oh. kind of have to like sell your point without having an actual point, if that makes any sense. Uh, no, I, Anthony yeah. Kiedis, I remember I was watching, was it maybe behind the music or whatever, and he was talking about Under the Bridge, you know, and, and when he came to the rest of the band, he was sure they were going to hate it, and they didn't quite... They didn't quite get it, but they didn't. They said, "Okay, let's let's work this." And, and he said, "That's when he felt, this is my band. We're a band. Like they may, may they may not understand it right now, but they're going to work with me to get what I want to get out." So yeah. you guys have yeah. that, that's dynamic? the whole thing. Yeah. That's exactly it. Yes. Yeah, that's very cool. What about what about your parents? Do they have in, in say in the music at all, or they leave it up to you guys? Oh, they leave it up to us definitely. Yeah, yeah like they really support us throughout mm-hmm. the whole process, but the like 
that's our thing. Okay. We'll give honest opinions. Yeah. yeah. Good. So that's yeah. good. Well, okay. and I feel like with family too, like parents and then especially siblings, there's no like, you can be honest. Like I'm just thinking yeah. of talking to my brothers, like I would never sugarcoat anything with them. I'm like, no, you're yeah. being a jerk right now. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Not with us. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Uh, okay, so you guys are, let's, uh, we're going to talk some more, but let's get some music, okay? Oh, okay. We want to hear money, and uh, if that's cool, yes? Of course. We're actually going to mix it up a little bit. Okay. I usually sing the song. Pao's going to sing the song today, so you get like a, gonna sing. a special Woo! edition. <laughs> yes! Uh, an ex- and an acoustic version of yes. the song. All right, it's so. an exclusive here on the Press Woo! of the Steve Show. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Warning with Money on MMR. That's the crazy. Way, yeah, we're very diminutive here, so yes. the fact that that came out of you, any of you, is amazing. <laughs> what were you going to say, Danielle? That, yeah, her lung capacity is amazing. She sings like that while playing the drums. Wow. Oh, Every yeah. night. So, yeah. It's fun. It's fun. That, ha! Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! 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 No, that's awesome. Uh, what a great sound. Man, oh man, I'm I'm blown away. Yeah, yeah they, they, they're phenomenal. When like I said, song initially, we're like, holy crap. Like I said, diminutive, small yeah, yeah, in yeah. stature, but huge <laughs> in sound. And you guys are going to be with some other powerful voices later on. You're going to be uh, uh, joining uh, Pretty Reckless, Hailstorm, Lil yes, Czar. Yes. That's like a hardcore rock chick fanatic uh, yeah. show set. We're so excited about that. First of all, we're honored to be part of that tour and to be opening for like these fans that we admire so much and just to learn from them i feel like that's the most exciting part about touring with other bands yeah just learning from them and they're just so amazing how about lizzie hale's voice man that's oh crazy right it's insane yeah, yeah. We love her so much so, so much so have, we're excited about that have you had a chance to, to interact and mingle with yeah. any of them okay. yes, yes. Cool. we actually um, met during the pandemic through zoom, through zoom. yeah, yeah. Okay. at an yeah. event that we were in together um, and she's the nicest person. She's so sweet. Yes. Yeah. So you, you mentioned learning from them. You guys, did you guys give a couple of TED talks yourself as far as? Yes. Oh my God. Uh, okay. the yes. industry? We, we did. Yeah. Um, it was back in like 2016 and 17. Were you nervous? Yes. yes. Like, yeah. we were really nervous. 14 and then like, you know, we so playing, young. it's our thing. Yeah. We love yeah. to do that. But we're like talking. talking yeah. Give like with, a with, with, it's nerve wracking. With the instruments and the band, the sound system, you got kind of a comfort 
the zone. Yeah, you know what I mean? But but just a microphone and speaking to an audience. Yes. I'm gonna put you guys in the top five percent of any band we've ever had in here for conversing and everything. So yes. you guys, oh thank don't you. Worry about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. But I know what you're saying. A TED talk, and you were you were addressing the industry, right? And and, uh, and getting involved. Yeah. That's cool. We love to see this. I don't think the time has ever been better. At least in, as far as we can remember, to have all these um, rocking female bands that are really killing it, you know, c coming into the arena. So you two, and you're on the on the younger end to say, hey, anybody can get through that door. It's pretty cool. To have you, uh, what what are your what's your fan base like? Describe your fan base. Our fan base. It's okay, crazy. It's, it's, it's like a mix of everything. Yeah. It's like, a very familiar fan base, I think. Yeah. Well, is it that's how you say familiar? Oh, familiar? Yeah, that's the no, word. No, no, that, that is not. not. It's not uh, like a family. Familia. 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 Yeah. Familia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, basically, um, <laughs> it could go like to older rocker um, people. Yeah. Like, when they first saw us with the Metallica cover, like, yeah. they, they got really into that. And when we released their own music, they were also, like, hooked on that. And they, they're just so amazing. But we also have a younger crowd. Mm -hmm. But we also have, like, a really younger crowd. Like, like the grand older parents will, with the ring, their, their grandkids. grandkids. Yeah. And, and everything. It and really varies everything. also, like, by country. <laughs> like, in Mexico, in our, like, home country, it's, like, usually, like, people younger age. people yeah. our age. Mm -hmm. But here, we really do see, like, a really wide... Okay, I think it's cool because it's you know because this is the lifeblood. This station has a you know multi-decade history of of, of rock and, and I mean you know when uh, Stereo to Heaven came out that was debut you know it was being played as a current here wow. so it blows blows your mind so the fact that this I mean this always makes us smile because this bodes well for the future of rock that you guys are doing straight yes. up real rock very oh, much so yeah. alright so I have a question you guys and this is going to sound a little creepy but you guys are young attractive oh, girls. Man. How do you handle the the creeper level? Like uh, somebody like me. Says, somebody. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, it, listen, because so we have this uh, this group is going to be playing our, our big festival show, the MMRQ, Froggy, and they're young as well, three awesome. piece female group, and I've I've seen them on social media going, guys, stop with the comments, you know, online and so on that that mm -hmm. kind of cross the line, and I'm sure with you know you guys being young and your parents being involved, it's got to be it's got to be a little. How, how do you process that? I mean, just... the internet is crazy. We always, I mean... Yeah, since we started on the internet, I feel like we've... Like, it's something sad, but, like, you see it all the time, yeah. and you kind of, like, get mm. sensibilized to it. But we started out, like, our parents, like, really protected us throughout Good. the whole thing, and they still yeah. do. Basically, it's just surrounding yourself with a team that can really help you through it, because sometimes it could be, like, really weird. Like, yeah. it can be. Yeah. But, uh, and also, like, we, the three of us, we protect each other. Mm -hmm. And, like, we always make sure that if something is happening, that we can help each other mm -hmm. out. Crazy to think about, but we started ten years ago. So we yeah. have, yeah. yeah, we have, yeah. we have uh, seen, yes. Yeah. You, you guys are, are seasoned pros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you I know, it, so, it, yeah. it's funny when you think about it, though, and I, I forget what it's, uh, there's another TED Talk, as a matter of fact, talking about how social media is used and who's using it. There's a, a small percentage of people seem to get the most air on social media. When you realize mm -hmm. that's not the vast majority of people who are these some of these derelicts and perfs and stuff like mm -hmm. that. That the, you know that, that's that's a side thing. And I always mm -hmm. our our mindset is just remember the source. Remember the kind of person who would get who would get that way and just dismiss them because it seems like on every other level. The fans and what we read the comments and stuff all huge and they love you. By the way, here's a here's a comment I think you guys will like. A text that came across says that song was something you might hear in the intro of a James Bond movie. Oh, oh no. No. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. We know Billy Eilish just got uh, they were yeah. Yes. She did the last yeah, yeah. Bond movie. Which yeah. Is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I know you guys are headed to Baltimore. Do you have a show tonight or tomorrow night or do you it's even know where you're going? Tomorrow, tomorrow night. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you, you, got, you got a day off. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He did us a favor today. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, listen, we're very, very impressed. This is excellent. And we thank you uh, for coming by this morning. One more time for you. Can I get a hey? One more time. Hey! <laughs> yeah. hey. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, you guys are the best. Stop by here anytime, please. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah, thank, thank you so everyone. much. You'll have our undying support. Let's hear for Alejandra, Danielle, and Paulina. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Take a break and we'll come back in just a moment. Stay with us, friend. That was fantastic. Yeah.